Hello YouTube, it's in this video you're going to see me change this horrible old shower for a new one and replace a pool cord on the ceiling in the bathroom. Hold tight! So YouTube, is in my amazing video at Marky's Shower, you're going to see me removing the shower discussing the electrics and the 2018 part p regulations and what the shower should have the plumbing in this case we're using push fit so why push fit leaks etc and then we're going to be covering commissioning the shower before use hold tight so we're at the job site at Marcus house um, i've tried to get the lighting right but it's hard to do it while you're actually working on the job site it's uh, nine o'clock and this is the old nine kilowatt shower we're going to be removing today. And then we're going to be swapping over this pull cord. This is metal clad and has failed. So we're going to be replacing it with a plastic type one that doesn't need an earth. Uh, and this will be a dimming pull cord. Hold tight. So let's get this cover removed. So, uh -huh. So it's important to isolate the electrics and tests. So I've isolated the uh, fuse board and locked it off. Um, and I'm now testing all the live, neutral and earth with my tester. I don't use the cheap testers, I use this, um, I've forgotten the make of it, but this is uh, bulletproof. I test it before to make sure it's working and then I run it all over the terminals. I also tell everyone in the house that I've uh, isolated the supply and I'm working on the shower. So now I'm removing the screws from the shower and all the ancillary equipment, the hose, etc. But the screw is very rounded. So I'll twist that off. Now we need to get the water off. I put this on, but I use the existing cold feed. It's awful. So hopefully the new shower will fit. I might have to extend all that. So we're gonna have to have the water off. So how's that? Oh, two screws, one there, one there. Take that out. Water's going off. So I'll drain down. That'll come out. Got all my silicone, which I've put on. I'm gonna start unboxing the new shower. So, always put a big bucket down, or have your wet back. And uh, this is an old bath, but I've got my towel sheet down. So, we've isolated, no power, electric's off. Just gonna open the water. We might get some, some residue water, but I've got the hot and cap cold taps open. Boilers off, it's a combo, so that's all good. So we're hopefully with the head of water has already gone down as we've opened the cold taps up here and downstairs. So a head of water typically refers to the pressure exerted by a column of water often used in engineering. Electric's off, earth. We're uh, got the cold feed off, just removing. <laughs> it's off! <laughs> Get the new one in. Fit okay, so I've tried to get one that matches. It's very difficult when you swap showers over because our inlet pipe is there, our electrics is there. I'll have to extend the earth. If you look, our cold feed inlet's there. I thought it had multiple ones, so I'm gonna have to connect onto there, elbow it, elbow, and in. So I'll get some push fit. I use plastic push fit, I think, um, so it's a bit flexible when installing. So that's that. It comes with a template. So um, let's take this out. Oh, a good thing these Mara showers. So that's your box. So I put that there. Then you've got your very nice look. Okay. I've taken the screws out, which are carefully placed over there. And then the template is here, so I know where to drill. So I might have to extend my earth. So I can put that on there, and I know how to cut my... So I'm going to have to elbow from there, there's nothing I can do. Clean that up. Um, so I'm going to go and get some plumbing fittings. Oh, right, so what we're doing, we're coming across, we're going up, we're going in, run the pipe work across, so I haven't got all plastic, so this is going on, this will hopefully that thread will work, 
uh, no joint compound uh, and then we'll do 15 mil plastic with inserts super seal up and across i'll try and film it okay so i've used the template i'll use that in a minute i'll get spirit level on it so we've got our 15 mil compression elbow i'm gonna have to extend the earth so i'll get a way go on there oh look at that um I might pull through it. I'll look at the electrics in a minute. So I'm going to pipe this up. So plastic compression, uh, plastic elbow, elbow, and I've already fitted the. Um, show you. This is shown. So I've put my 15 mil. I use the JG Speed Fit on the shower. Now I've lost my shower. Oh, it's in the bloody. So. That's my speed fit. I love the speed fit because you've got the cut marks there. So, if you look, I've got my 15mm uh, push fit elbow on. So, when you do these, always put, make sure they are undone in, in between. A bit of Vaseline on the O rings. Make sure you use the proper cutting tool because this stops it, it deburs it. As well as people push these in and damage the O-ring. All right, if I haven't got my Vaseline, I just wet it with my, you know, saliva, but I use a little bit of Vaseline, plumber's one, and then um, push the pipe in gently. If you feel that, if you, the reason these will only leak is if you damage it or you don't use speed fit pipe and you don't cut it properly. So it needs to be nice. I always make sure I just feel it, but use the proper cutting tool. I'll put a link in the description. Right, so I've done my marks for the screws. My cold pipe, it's hard to film here. Cold feed coming in and up. It's supposed to put a full bore isolation on. I haven't got one and it's for maintenance, but it restricts the flow, so I'm not gonna put it on. And it's gonna be tricky to put in. The electrician checked the, uh, the, the electrics was up to date for this shower. So we just put the pipe work on and then we'll uh, start connecting up. So I'm going to have to pipe up the shower slightly different. I'm running 15 mil uh, plastic push fit and I'm going to use two elbows to tee off of this elbow, this compression elbow. So make sure you use the super seal inserts with these uh, elbow 15 mil push fits. Okay, so you want the, these are for compression fittings. So that one will be in there. Okay, this allows the push fit pipe to put, go further within the compression fitting. Okay, so the ones without the seal are for compression. This allows that to go in further. Okay, now the other ones, let me just show you. So these are the ones you use for the, just for push fit. Okay, so that'll go on the other side. So we'll cut this up. Using our try and cut it on the marks. I've cut a bit extra length so we can measure it. Got me insert in ready. So that can go in into there, all right, and that'll go in further. So what I do can't use joint compound because it's a shower. Get the olive. Put that on the back. Push that in and then slide it up. Now bite it up. You don't need to go too tight as it's plastic biting on, so that's that. Now I'll nip this up so I've got a bit of leeway with the pipe. Try not to damage the tiles. That's it. Okay. And then, so this end is going to have. Let's check you can see stuff. So we've got cold feed, 15 mil, compression from vitamin with olive, no joint compound, and a non super seal insert because it's compression. Now we've got the super seal insert, so that's these ones. Right. So we want that there, so you mark it. Check it that it's cut it correctly so it's not bird look because you've got a little bit there. Okay. So 
That's what happens when you're sometimes cutting these. So, Stanley knife. See that? Because I cut it at a slight angle, it's just done that, which could catch the, the O-ring in here. See the O-ring in there? They're the ones that you want to put a bit of spit, put a bit of plumber's Vaseline on. And then they go in smoothly. So, so I've just done that. Super seal inserting. I'll wet these as well, if they're sticky. Okay, so that's done. So, our compression, 15 mm elbow, speed fit. So make sure they're both loose. People put these on, don't tighten them up. Wet the O-ring, wet the pipe. Like I say, if I've got the Vaseline on me. And carefully, if that's undone properly, so that's tight, that's undone, you do them at clockwise to tighten, so make sure they're not fully out because that affects it. It's just in between tighten and where you feel that resistance, all right? And then push it on. Okay, then pull it back and you can see this open up where the insert is bit. We know it's on now and then tighten that one. Now we're done, all right? So I'm just going to use the template now to measure. So most showers come with a template, especially the good quality ones. Always use this to plan out, mark your inlet, cold feed and your electrics. There you go, another one. This will go in there. So super seal, wet it. So I'll cut it a bit long at the moment. That's it easy to handle. And then I've got the shower. So we can, let's drill the holes next. At length, so wet it. So nice and clean. So I'm, gonna, I'm trying to fill a manhole with this. It's very awkward in the shower to do a live action. So make sure this, oh, this is what happens. Hang on a minute. There we go. To, so it's pushed in, inserts fully home, and then tighten up, okay? This is where people forget to tighten these up. So tight, tight, all right, up. Shower's gonna go on there. I'm just gonna clean all this off and drill the holes. Drill the holes there, there. You gotta be careful of where your wires are. Okay, so I've not gone in too far. I know my cold feed is going in and I think it does go up. So I remember it goes up that way. So luckily they fall and sometimes the holes will fall differently and you've got to adapt it. So I know that's safe. So drilling into these uh, uh, only ceramic, easy. Nice sharp six mil bit off of drill. I'm trying to do this. So you get good pressure on. Normally use a bit of tape, but a sharp six mil T, TCT drill bit, nice and sharp. So just press it. You can feel it biting because the tip, the drill bit is nice and sharp. You can hear it. Can you hear that? It's biting, lovely. And just don't go in too far. You never know what's behind totally. I can't quite remember when I fixed, I did these tiles years ago. So, um, some short six mil screws, shower's not heavy, it's all supported by the pipe work. I normally use a hoover um, when I'm drilling, but it's difficult. If these were porcelain, you'd need proper porcelain bits, but ceramic is easy with a nice sharp drill bit. So that's my holes done. Holding drill with one hand and you with the other. Okay, so now I'm going to put the plugs in, put the shower on, and then we can connect up the Electrox. So, clean off this silicone. You don't really need silicone. I don't know why I put that on there. I think the old seal was a bit, if they're designed right. So all I use is an old chisel. Like I sort of sharpen now and again, but can be used because it damages them. But they're ideal for getting silicone off look. And then I'll just, it blunts them because you're on ceramic tile. But I'll just sharpen it quickly. I've got a chisel sharpener. I can't do it brilliantly. It's an art sharpening chisels, but I get this back every now and again and I use it for stuff like this. Okay, so that's all cleaned off. All right, so let's try it. So make sure you use the Omni six millimeter plugs, the quality ones. Don't use the supplied plugs that you get with these showers because they're not very good, but always use galvanized or stainless steel screws. Otherwise these will rot. Three in that one, two, 
bit awkward it was to flap that behind this coal feed outlet. So we've got plastic push fit going in and in. It's good to use the plastic, gives you the flexibility. Live neutral's got to be connected. Please note that this will be tested by an electrician. Uh, as I understand it, it's a six mil cable, 18 mil from the consumer unit, a double pole, pole isolation switch, which is there, a 40 amp fuse, uh, this is a 9 kilowatt shower and shower supply cross bonded to the earth but the electrician deals with all this again he will be testing this under the part p regulations so don't mess about with electrics unless you know what you're doing <clears throat> screws are on so i'm just going to connect up the electrics put the cover on because you've got to commission these you don't just turn them on and i make do not do do what i've done years ago turn it on now the water again we haven't done a cold uh, feed isolation because it's just it could go there but it I'd need a full bore one and we can just turn the water off if we need to take it out so got a cold feed coming from there through through our push fit into the inlet electric's still off at the moment I've had to cut a hole in the bottom of the that's a hair can you see that I'm trying to do everything one handed that's the cold feed pipe so Got to take a bit more off that, then we'll go on, and then that'll seal. So I'm getting the cover on, and we'll do a commissioning. Commissioning is where you run it cold first, and you warm it up slowly, just to make give the element chance to fully uh, get the cavitation and water out. Oh no! Getting there. So I'm going to put the bar on there. So you can see it's all now tight, all secured. I've cut that out under there. Okay, so it looks, doesn't look brilliant, but there's nothing we can do when you swap a shower over. I could always put a tile over the customer I wanted, but he's happy. Um, so he should have had a new shower when I did it, but there you go. Stainless steel screws, is. And then you've got Allen key, stainless steel again. Okay, that's why you'll often try and take these old ones off and you'll find they're rusted in because they haven't used the correct fittings. Always use the stainless steel or galvanized, you know, wet area. So, yeah, it needs a bit of adjustment, that's on, that tightens up, that, that's on. The clamping system for these was a bit odd, but they're all different, so I haven't showed you. They're a bit, but it's good. So I'm just going to do clean up, get all this out, and then do a commissioning test where you run it on cold and you build up the flow um, slowly so it lets the element inside get rid of any air. Right, for this, socks, I had to take them off. So we've got a fixed screen here. Right, so let's test it. It's cold. Right, so you run that for a bit. Good pressure. See, the, what you need with these, we're in Oxford, so you need a softener, really. This, this is great, but in a year or two, it'll start to all crud up. So I fit the BWT water softeners, which uh, are amazing. Five year guarantee. So. Anyway, that's that, so that's running through nice, so you're flushing it through, cold water, and then we'll now start warming her up. So the element's now heating it, so yeah, all lovely, all working. So that's how to fit a shower, I'm going to do the switch. So this is the new uh, light, you isolate the electrics, it's locked off, so we're just swapping this out for the new equivalent and this has a pattern uh, this a patternometer adjustment that white thing and that adjusts the flicker because it's on a certain hertz so that's better so look i can't hold this but i'm going to change it over so these are quite simple it's plug and play so you've got your live neutral coming through there switch live and live here so and then the earth we won't need we'll just put a way go on it because this is all plastic Whereas that fit in there that is metal, so that's why the earth is there. So we'll just terminate the earth in a way go. And I'll film in a minute. So all connected up now, live and neutral. Earth is terminating in a way go connector, as this is a plastic fitting and isn't needed for the earth. So I've just left it in a way go to ensure continuity. So I hope you like my video. Please like, subscribe and comment. I welcome feedback. All the items I used in this making this video are listed in the description below. Hold tight.